Okay. Right. Let's see if we can make this rather dull looking image look good. I don't know how we're going to make this one look. This is going to be a challenging one. So we're just going to set up our colours. I think it's going to be a negative positive remove, uh, not removal, uh, negative positive reversal colour wise. This is going to be an interesting one if we can make it look. We're going to, we can't use contrast with this. So we're going to just rattle through and see if we can make this rather dr dull looking image look any good. Some images just don't lend themselves well to this kind of treatment. So, But sometimes we can surprise ourselves with how things actually turn out. Let's see. Oh, background colour. We've got to add a background colour to this one. I uh, wonder what it's going to be. What colour are we going to use for this silly original? We're going to make it red. Okay, let's just get our original out and we've got to make enlarge it it is barbecues galore and this picture here is going to be what we're using as our as our original so we're going to try and concentrate on that picture and not get any of the other shit that looks distracting and it's all advertising i want to cut out the advertising crap so we're going to go and we're going to make it 200 and 40 and here we go 240 240 by 240 and see how we go see how it looks okay this machine will run out of magenta toner soon but hopefully we can keep it going a bit longer until we've finished the set of demos that we're meant to do for the day Anyway, that looks very intense, very hot. Like the barbecue, it looks interesting. Uh, wondering if we're going to do another one or if we're going to use this one and we're just going to do some more work on it, work on the quality. and the. So I'm wondering if we're going to do it again. We're just going to try another one. This That one didn't turn out too well. I want to get more what's on the, the bottom, the people in the image, uh, more than... Uh, anyway, we're just going to tilt it like that. We're going to try it one more time. See if that's a better version. Just heard a clack noise. That's not a very good sign. But anyway, that's kind of an older for you. Uh, anyway, I think that one looks a bit more interesting. Uh, I think we can work on the colouring a bit. It looks a bit shit house uh doesn't look all that colorful so i'm wondering if we're going to go with this one uh so this is not a very good original to work with so we're just going to throw it aside and we're gonna make this look hopefully better so i'm just going to switch to copied paper and i'm wondering if this is going to be the center of the job and if we're gonna maybe enlarge most of this out so we're just going to make it a5 we're going to make it um a5 a5 so it's going to be a little bit overlapped on the a5 section so we're going to cut a bit out of this we're not going to have the whole image we're just cutting out what we think would look good so we're just going to go here and make it 141 percent and going to have to just cut out all these we might have to add a bit of background removal for this and the text enhance has got to go uh turn that off turn this off make some adjustments maybe we can drop out some of the red and maybe we can uh warm up the hue to the center and see how we go Okay. Okay, out it comes. Let's see how that looks. 
looks iridescent. Uh, I like this little bit there. That looks good. The rest of it looks a bit blah blah. I'm wondering if we can make it look even better. If we can just give some, do some more work on it to make it look less. Uh, maybe we're just going to leave that. We're not going to touch that. We might take out some red. We're going to take it into the minus and the hue. We're going to make it a little bit hotter. I don't know if we're going to fix everything on this picture <laughs> somehow. Let's see how changing these settings has actually affected the image overall. I just heard another clunk. It's like not a very good sound for Konica Minolta, you know, the company that manufactured this machine. Now that looks a bit better. Looks a bit more lighter. Uh, wondering if we're going to go any further or if we're going to just leave it like that. And just look at the nice bits in the middle there. So we're just going to punch off another. I like it. It's not going to be the greatest demo on earth, folks, but this original was not a good original as far as I'm concerned. Oh, look, my oh, I noticed my favourite number po po popped up on the screen. That was nice to see. Uh, so let's see how we go. Let's see if we can just put these corners close enough together. It's a bit curly. Sorry, folks, I'm having a bit of trouble trying to put the images accurately together. We're just going to now punch off two mirrored versions of this. So let's see how we go. Not the greatest uh, image on Earth. But still, it's better than uh, nothing, <laughs> whatever. Okay, out it comes. So these are our two images for this job, to finish off this job. This has not been the easiest demo, but it's not been the most painful. But we've got a bit of bubbling of the toner, which is, again, not good for Konica Minolta. But if Konica Minolta don't make their product properly... Well, it's on their fucking head. They can fucking go wank themselves because they're a bunch of money fucking wankers and that's what Konica and Minolta basically are. They don't care about the product or the customer that much. They'll just get by by doing as much as they can. With They'll try to get away with as much as possible. Actually, that apart from the curling and the fact that this image wasn't good, this doesn't look too bad. So I think now we can call this one quits.